how old do I look? It's an uncomfortable question. We are curious, but we can also be shy. But our inhibitions are lower when we are online. We are curious about our family and friends, even our conference chairs. It's a lot of fun. People love to upload all types of images to howall.net. They tweet about it, they try to fool it, they even tease the robot. 80 million people uploaded half a billion images to howall.net. I'm going to tell you the story of Howell Robot and what we learned building that site. It all started about six months ago in April. I had a keynote at Microsoft's developer conference called Build. I wanted to showcase some of our machine learning APIs for face detection, face analysis. As you know, it's kind of hard to showcase abstract technologies like this. So we built an engaging app. We built an app that you could interact with. And we tested it three days before the keynote. I sent an email internally in Microsoft to our machine learning email list and asked people to test it at noon for about five minutes. And I said explicitly, do not blog or tweet about this until after the keynote on Thursday. Well, when you tell people not to do something, you know what happens. We started seeing tweets 60 to 100 miles away. It went viral in Turkey. Now, Arif Khur has a lot of followers on Twitter. 25,000 users came in the next three hours. Now, as with all things unexpected, we, we reacted like human beings. We shut the site down, replaced it with a placeholder website, and, of course, all the users naturally went away. But we learned a few things from that spark of virality on Twitter. So we added sharing buttons on Facebook, uh, for Facebook and Twitter. We created the hash how old Robert hashtag. We wrote, rewrote our blog for a popular audience. But our engineering work was done, our scaling was done. We were prepared. Then we went live on April 30th. With me is Coram, who's going to help me through a demo. And you see that graph that just spiked up? That's all of you bringing data in motion. And the contagion was unleashed. Howell.net went viral, crossing all age, geo, and cultural boundaries. We had 50 million users in that very first week. To put that in perspective, it took the telephone 75 years to reach 50 million users. Radio took 38, TV took 13, and Facebook three and a half years. Now, Angry Birds did that in 35 days. Howell.net took just seven days. At its peak, we had 1.2 million users per hour. Now, we learned some things. We learned that success can look like a distributed denial of service attack. Our DDoS protection locked up and slowed the website down, so we had to take it out. Without the cloud, we would have collapsed under the load. The cloud allowed us to auto-scale to the traffic. And it was easy to have real-time analytics so we could understand what was happening. Our blog site couldn't keep up. It wasn't on the cloud. Facebook must have thought it's a zero-day attack because the post disappeared for two hours. Twitter started blocking us. We had to prove we were in malicious, and it took us three days. But we learned some things empirically, some fun things. We learned that people share when how old Robert is right. Yeah. We learned that people share even more <laughs> when it's wrong. Ellen, <laughs> Ariana, the Malaysian PM. This may be an edge case, but still. 
Julianne has a great sense of humor. She uploaded a picture of her spouse and, her, and his identical twin. <laughs> Hope she got the young one. It brings out the child in some of us. Marketers don't miss a chance. <laughs> we learned that four-day-old sushi is a great marketing idea. <laughs> we learned that there is a big gender disparity in the usage of how old Robert. Now, when we launched it at Build, the developer audience was predominantly male. But in a few hours, when it went viral, we had two times as many female images being submitted to HowOld.net as male images. We learned we were a big hit with young women and middle-aged men, too. We learned a few tips on how to look younger from How Old Robert. And this is pretty amazing, because it means that the machine learning behind How Old Robot figured it all out from its training data. So we learned that if you're a man, shaving helps. A hair salon in Cairo, Egypt, found it useful as well. It works even in sketches. <laughs> so machine learning has proved once and for all that shaving helps you look younger. We learned that smiling doesn't help you look younger. We learned glasses do make you look older. And I learned that if my son smiles and wears glasses, he will look 50% older. <laughs> and the most important tip, wear a hat. We will make America young again. The web can turn a little data problem into a big data problem in a hurry. Here are some tips to be ready. First, build in the cloud. It's easy, it's cheap, it's very agile. It took us three weeks of one developer to build How Old Robot and all the analytics behind it. Tip two, if you want to handle millions of users and the unexpected, you need elasticity. I did speak the cloud auto scaled to 1,600 cores, and when the traffic decreased, it scaled back. With the economics of the cloud, it cost us a few thousand dollars. Tip three, live metrics and monitoring are not optional. We couldn't have reacted to Twitter and Facebook and all of the changes that were happening without those real-time monitoring and analytics. You need built-in monitoring, real-time dashboards from day minus one. Four, experimenting is the new normal for app development. With the cloud, we could rapidly iterate on controlled or uncontrolled experiments with very little developer effort. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect to be successful. So the cloud turns hardware into software. It turns software into services. And it can turn data into intelligence. It gives you the agility you need in today's online world. So here's a recipe for something like HowOld.net. One creative idea, one cloud subscription, one Azure website, one Cortana Analytics API, a creative developer, and three weeks of coffee. Plus a few accessory services in the cloud for monitoring and analytics. It is simple, it is fast, it's very little coding. You can build amazing viral applications if you leverage the modern intelligent cloud. I've got one more thing. I've been wondering now for a few months if you would like other people to tell you how old you look if you're online, and if it's anonymous. And perhaps we can crowdsource this. And there's only one way to tell, test and learn. So we are now doing this test. You're actually the first to hear of this outside Microsoft. It's an online community experience. 
you can get ratings from other people who are online on How Old Robert. It's sort of quid pro quo. You put up your picture, you rate a picture, and someone anonymous somewhere in the world will tell you how old you are. It's all anonymous. Pictures are not saved. So go to howold.net and give it a try. We found it to be especially fun in a group of people, especially at a party. But this isn't serious, by the way. It's just a demo. Perhaps at next strata, I'll get to tell you what happened. So give it a try. Thank you.